Hey Aquarius, welcome. How you doing? I hope all is well. So thank you so much for joining me again. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your patronage, your likes, your subscribes, your shares. I truly, truly appreciate it, Aquarius, okay? I'm going to jump right into a love message for you. Happy Sunday, fun day. I hope you're having a great weekend. <clears throat> Let's remember, roles can be reversed for clock transpose. Also, you could have Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini strongly in your chart. You may, you may not, okay? Um, all are welcome here. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Jupiter. Anyone who has Aquarius in their chart, okay? So remember, stand in your truth, your authenticity. Use your discernment for these videos, okay? So let's see. Well, wow. We have the Ice Queen. And then we also have Spiritual Growth. And then we have Ice King. So the Ice King and the Ice Queen are out here. Super dope. Okay, because... If no one gets each other, these two get to each other. So there's definitely another air sign on the board. Okay. Um, the ice queen for me is Libra. Okay. But it could be a Gemini. All right. The ice king is Aquarius energy here. Look at this ice king energy. And, and let's not forget, you could be the ice queen because the ice queen is who they call Aquarius as well. And the Ice King could be the Librian energy, okay, or the, you know, Gemini energy. And if it's not another air sign, there's somebody who have air significantly in their chart, their natal chart, or they hone that kind of energy, okay? They, they walk in that energy, okay? The Ice King is here just as, you know, his presence is known, okay? Especially with that white tiger there, beautiful, beautiful energy. It's, um, you know, controlling himself. Okay, being able to control himself, the beast is within. Okay, so there's been some spiritual growth between these two people or within this person. Okay, somebody may have moved um, from, you know, being discerning to actually taking action. Being discerning, growing, listening to their spirit guides, taking time out for themselves. Okay, um, to now being able to take authority of their life and do what it is they have to do for themselves right? As one person. Okay. Um, but this is a love reading. So I'm going to so far see it as two separate people who are um, healing alone and they're making their way to each other because there's some type of spiritual connection here. Okay. And as we know, when we hold space and heal ourselves, because I'm kind of getting divine counterpart divine counterpart energy, especially with the song that I keep hearing in my head. I keep hearing Diana Ross. Um, Ooh, I'm missing you. Sometimes I wonder, I don't understand where you were trying to go. Baby, you knew the plan. I tried to be there, but you wouldn't let me in. And now you're gone away, boy. I feel so broken hearted. I knew the day that we started that we were meant to be. If you'd only let me, I cried so many tears, took away all my fears. And you let it slip away. I made your boy here today. Something like that. That's what I'm hearing. Ever since I picked up this Amira deck, okay? <laughs> so let's see. Okay. And then we have Wallflower, Beauty Queen, Gifts, Work, Twin Flame. I knew it was coming. Twin Flame, Past Life. I knew it because that song. I'm going to put the link down below for that song. I mean, I know you guys are like, okay, who cares about it? All right. Um, but yeah, there's something in the lyrics. Okay. So like I said, the... um. Ice Queen, the Queen of Swords is the first card out here. And I truly believe the first card out talks about your energy. Okay. In your energy, you are spiritually growing, but there's somebody else 
also growing. Now, I'm going to read it both ways because we have these other cards out here. But someone else is also spiritually growing and they've been holding themselves back. Perhaps there's been a separation. Okay. And it's a separation that neither think that they're coming back to. Mm -mm. They don't think they're coming back to one another. It's done. It's done. There's a bit, a tinge of um, stubbornness here. And then I see someone being somewhat of a wallflower. They're not going out. You know, even if they are going out, like let's say they go and hang out with the girls or let's say they go and hang out with the fellas. This is this is basically what they're doing because in the back of their mind, they're still thinking of someone else. You see what I'm saying? Um, in the back of their mind, male or female, it doesn't matter. In the back of their mind, they have someone else on their mind here. Okay? You know, and it doesn't mean that they're walking around moping. It just means in the back of their mind, they're thinking about something. They could be living their regular life as they've been doing it, but they're not they're not um, doing the most is. You know what I'm saying? Bubbly and this and that and the other. You know what I mean? If someone says, well, what's wrong with you? It's like, oh, nothing. You know, I got a headache or nothing, you know, this or that. You know what I'm saying? They would never admit it. And I feel um, this person does most of their activity at work. That's basically work, 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 work. Okay. I also feel the energy though, middle of the spread currently, someone has moved out of this energy. When the breakup first begun, this was the energy. But with the spiritual growth, someone is literally working on themselves. For me, beauty queen is the energy of an empress. It's somebody who is now, you know, um, they know their worth. They've given themselves self-love, self-care. They're doing all that they can to keep themselves in an upright positive and high vibrational space okay they've grown from the wild wallflower into this beauty queen okay and with these gifts here um the next card i do feel this energy and this could be male or female it's not gender specific guys okay um these gifts here it talks about um matching up with the frequency you see this the wallflower the spiritual growth the gift and then the twin flame there's this energy in here that when you hold space and heal and really look within yourself and go through the spiritual journey, you know, intentionally trying to grow after spirit God source have sat you down or hung you up. Um, there's this energy here that someone is actually tapping in to the frequency. So they are literally receiving the energetic pull from spirit God source. And it, these gifts could be many. OK, it could be many different kinds of, of gifts that you are attracting to you, that you are um, tapping into that connectivity with spirit okay um it could be it could be anything all right it can so um i also feel that while this person is healing and going through the process so is the other person so let's say for example it's you aquarius you're going through the healing process you've had to sit down you've had to um, nurture yourself, love yourself, um, pour in self-love, self-care. As you're healing, this person is healing too. Because there's a connection here already. So it's like you guys were mirroring one another. And that's why I felt Twin Flame was going to come out here. Which is right here. Okay? So you could literally be dealing with somebody with air in their chart. I truly feel that. Or Capricorn in their chart. Or Pisces in their chart. Or Gemini in their chart or Virgo in their chart. Scorpio in their chart. Did I say Pisces? Yeah. So with the work card, Twin Flame and Past Life, I mean, these two cards right here are basically saying that someone that you have known before in a past life or in the past, right? It's a divine counterpart that you're supposed to learn lessons with in this life, a little, you know, a few months ago, years ago, whatever, or in another life, okay? But you can see these two right here, okay? And um, you may have met this person at work, um, or you're helping this person work on themselves as you work on yourself, or vice versa. That's pretty much the energy that I am getting here. Let's see. Holy Spirit, why is the beauty queen in the middle of the spread? Okay, 
Wheel of Fortune. Eight of Cups. Two of Wands. What I see here, this was supposed to happen. Somebody was supposed to um, walk away, it looks like. Okay, but what I'm getting is somebody has turned the tables on someone, okay? Because I feel this energy that from, you know, energetically, I'm an intuitive reader, okay? That song, Diana Ruiz, I'm missing you. Like I said, I'm gonna put the link below so that you can see the lyrics. The thing is, is that somebody was basically submitting to someone else. Someone was basically stating like, what do you need me to do? And if they didn't say it, that's what they meant, okay? Their actions showed that, okay? And they were left brokenhearted. They had to really work on themselves to get themselves here. And so that's how the tables are being turned. They finally, as time has passed on, they have finally decided to put themselves back together again, okay? And walk away as opposed to waiting on someone. Because you can see here, this looks like somebody is waiting, right? Instead of waiting on someone, Eight of Cups, they've decided to walk away for wish fulfillment, but it was not easy. You can see every single one of these cups are turned over. In the regular white awake, the Eight of Cups is standing upward and someone is walking away in the middle of the night, okay? And they usually come back because everything is standing up perfectly. This deck here, every single cup has been spilled. They tried several times to make it happen and every single time they were disappointed okay so it's almost like a forcing the wheel of fortune is fate it's destiny it's a force you this is you know what i'm saying you can't help it okay and this is what this is the end result here two of wands the sun is coming back out you're having a win-win situation you know what i'm saying you are deciding to put yourself first period and so that's why these gifts are here Someone has done the work on themselves. It was hard. They cried many tears. They sat around waiting. They were abstinent. They didn't um they didn't indulge basically. Okay, um, in other people is what I'm saying. They may have had many drinks or something, but with these cards coming over the beauty queen, someone has basically turned their whole regimen around. They're drinking a lot of water, they're pouring into the self, they're doing the best for themselves. Okay, they may be um buying themselves gifts, making themselves look good. Okay, I mean, this is a beautiful person and they've realized it. They've realized that even through the suffering, they are a beautiful person inside and out is what I'm getting. Now, let's see what's going on up here. Yeah, because somebody said, I knew the day we started that we were meant to be, but you wouldn't let me. You wouldn't let me in. You wouldn't let me get close to you. You wouldn't let me. Somebody's crying so many tears. They may have, they may feel like they wasted a, a, a lot of their good years. And um, this person just walked away, right? Or the other way around. Somebody could feel this about you, Aquarius. Especially if you walked away after being submissive, after doing everything that this person wanted you to do, and then you take your power back by doing what you know in your heart you must do. Somebody could feel that about you, that you just walked away. But um, at the end of the day, they know. Because with the spiritual growth here, it's on both sides. Okay, it's in the middle. They know the part that they played. Yes, they do. Yes. Yes. Yes, they do. They know the part they played. And they know why you did whatever it is that you decided to do. They know why. Yes, they do. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. See? We have... The Four of Wands. Again, this is Twin Flame Energy. It's domestic bliss, but it's Twin Flame Energy, okay? That's what that is. The Four of Wands um, also speaks of uh, balance. It could, it could also speak of community, okay? It could also speak of a gathering or a celebration, but it also speaks of um, belonging, okay? But with it over here, on this ice queen, I feel like you and this person may have met in your neighborhood. You may have met in the in, somewhere in the community. Okay, you could even even have met at some type of a party or gathering. But I feel like this person was your peace. They were your comfort. Okay, and you them, right? It is twin flame energy. Okay, so there is a, a, a um, kind of a mirroring here. 
okay? But I feel like what happened in the past, um, things became unstable. You may have felt like there was a lack of support, okay? You may have felt unwelcomed in this person's presence, or you may have felt as though, um, you know, things were changing, okay? Things were changing. This person may have been married, okay? Or this is you, all right? But this is this is what I'm basically feeling here. Because, you know, with the three of cups, like I said, um, you guys may have, you know, met at some type of celebration or event or um, in the neighborhood is what I'm really feeling, okay? But I feel like um, you guys have tried over and over again. This person wants to reconcile, period. But I feel like you guys have reconciled before. There was a third party situation. Somebody was married. Not only was somebody married, but somebody may have had a son, okay, or a child, okay, a daughter, all right? But with the Five of Pentacles and the Page of Wands here, Five of Pentacles talks about um, that, you know, loss, okay, even a ghosting, even a sense of, you know, no longer being available, okay? But you can see how this person's hands in this, look at the depiction here, okay? It's like somebody has their hands out. They want more. They want more, right? They're feeling a lack. But do you see on here? It's like four pentacles are lit up as red. If somebody else has control, they could give more, but they're not, is what I'm getting. Okay? It could be a fire sign. And with the page of wands, it's like, um, you know, they were very sexually attracted to you, but, you know, four wands, page of wands, it's still petty arguments. It's you know, somebody doing some petty shit. It's, it's low vibrational. It's somebody feeling once this page of wands entered the picture, okay, it became kind of like unstable, unwanted, okay, imbalanced, all right? Like, that's the energy that I'm getting. And I feel that somebody may have really did some childish shit with the five of pentacles here. There's an energy of, you know, someone feeling left out, someone feeling unwanted, unwelcomed. That's what's here. Okay, so there was an ending here. All right, that's what I'm. It's what I'm getting in this story between the Ice Queen and the Ice King. But you know, the only thing that's kind of off here is the Three of Cups. Three of Cups talks about a reunion. It talks about getting back together again. So let's see what's happening in the past, in the um, future. This death card, death and rebirth, it flew all the way over here. This is where that three of cups is at that I was talking about and the five of pentacles, but it's right over spiritual growth. So like I said, there was an ending, okay? But growth has taken place up underneath it all. What else can we get here, Holy Spirit? One more card for this, please. Don't leave the... um. I'm going to bring out something special and different at the end, okay? So the last card out here is the Three of Wands. All right, bottom of the deck we have... The Knight of Cups. Somebody's going to come back and make an offer. They're going to almost spill their guts. That Diana Ross song. Mm -hmm. um, and again, it could be a water sign. Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, Cancer even. And then we have the Two of Pentacles. Now, the Two of Pentacles usually talks about somebody who's juggling. Or someone who has a lot on their plate. I kind of feel with this card... This infinity here and all of this green is talking about how somebody's trying to create um, a path that is, you know, grounded in reality. Because the next card after this is Three of Pentacles. And Three of Pentacles talks about people working together, okay? More hands making light work and teamwork making the dream work and all of that kind of stuff. With this card here, I do feel like somebody is trying to get their ducks in a row. Again, uh, um, like a solid standing here. Um, and I... <laughs> can't help that this card is coming over the twin flame and you see this it's still a mirroring but this time 
we're not, you know what I'm saying, like this, we're, we're standing firm, like I said, about to have teamwork is what I'm feeling. And then we have the three of wands, which is the actual blueprint, right? So we go from two of wands to three of wands. Now, remember when I said four of wands plus this one is five of wands, somebody mad petty, you know what I'm saying? Uh, some complete changes happening in this relationship with the two fives here, okay? But I can do the same thing going down this way and it would be the page of wands plus the three of one, um, the two of wands, which would be three wands. And then another three wands, which is six wands, which means that somebody wants to get your attention. Someone wants to win. They want to survive this with you. Okay. With the moon here, I don't think anyone sees this really coming. Okay. I, I feel that there's deep feelings here on both sides. And again, I feel that there is a um, spiritual connection here in, in some shape, form or fashion there is. Okay, um, but I also feel the moon, it just states that unbeknownst it to both these two people, because um, this one over here seems like they've been working on themselves. They've been, you know, um, constantly working on themselves and working on their intuition and things like that. This person has also. Okay, they have also. Yeah, somebody feels that this was a huge sacrifice. I'm going to get some more cards for the center spread. Um, for the center cards here. Holy Spirit, clear and concise messages, please. Right here, Holy Spirit, please, on this Eight of Cups. Two people praying for the same dang nab thing. Two people connected here. Okay. Judgment talks about a renewal, a second chance. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. It's also, um, you know, two people judging one another's. Two people judging one another's actions and doings and judging them too harshly. So, there's an energy here where both of you may be um, looking at one another like damn why did you have to do that right but that's what i'm getting here a renewal a second chance oh so it's the tower reversed it's the tower reversed which i don't know i feel like it should be upright because the tower has already fall fallen okay you can see there's one person falling out of this tower. They're getting an epiphany. But there's also this energy here of, right? Um, remember that energetic connection, that connectivity that is here in the spiritual growth is also here in the gifts. Okay. Um, what I'm getting here is that whatever happens to one, the other can feel. There's some type of connectivity here. But with the tower in reverse, somebody um, wants to turn back time. They want to stop the tower. They want to put things back, you know, the way that they were. And like I said, with the Knight of Cups here, I feel that somebody is going to, you know, they're going to send messages. They're going to have a lot to say. But it takes strength. Wow. Look at this. It takes strength to get over their pride and their ego. Okay. If this could be you, but they have a lot to say. It's been binded up within them. They have a lot to say and they're going to pour their heart out. But what I find interesting is the king of the king of swords, the ice king, has a big old strength energy right there. OK, so I find that to be uh, a bit more than a coincidence. OK, somebody has to have the courage to be available to listen. Um, they have to have the courage and the strength to even look this person in the face, okay? And like I said, um, there's a shared energy here, so it could be you or this person, I don't know, okay? So take it as it resonates, take it as it applies. Let's get some of these Holy Spirit on this spread. Let's just see what we get. Let's see. So basically what's happening here is someone making baby steps, page of wands to a new plan and um, waiting for their ships to come in, waiting for their manifestation for manifestations to take place. But like I said, there's also this energy, page of wands, two of wands, three of wands. That's somebody who's going to win, okay? That's somebody who is going to 
um, get the spot. Like the spotlight will be shown on them because of what they have done. Okay, they have something to say. They have something to show. They have something to prove. So let's see here, Holy Spirit, please. We have keys on a ring. Many options, decisions. Okay. Passion. And then we have I like you. Okay. So I feel this energy here that somebody likes you. Romance is blossoming. Fun, flirting, want to date. When this person comes back and they spill their guts, maybe it's an energy of out, let's try again. Okay. But there's still a lot of passion between you guys. Okay. Insane chemistry. Okay. Liking each other equally and having fun. Okay, so you guys had a lot of things in common. And even what wasn't in common, you enjoyed it because the other enjoyed it kind of energy. Okay, but there's some options here. Okay, you may be dating by the time this person comes back. And there will be a decision to make. Okay. Oh my goodness, Aquarius, you're not going to believe it. Bottom of the deck, we have engagement. So I've been saying for some of you, you're going to be meeting someone. You may already have a ring on your finger. You may already be about to, you know... Um, be proposed to or you've already been proposed to with the sword and the rose here there's this energy here of um re-evaluation um honor protection power and clarity and that is the um you know the ace of swords for aquarius so i would say there would be some type of truth and clarity given yeah and the runner is <laughs> look at how this is coming out i can't make this up with the twin flame energy there the runner is showing itself I think it was last week the chaser showed themselves. Um, the runner is showing themselves. They're coming back in, okay? Yeah, they were fearful of um, a, this long-term connection with you. They were listening to their ego, okay? They were in a codependent relationship somewhere up there, okay? With someone else, perhaps. With the three of cups, they're showing um, a third-party situation. But I do see somebody looking at photographs, remembering you, okay? Um, missing you, having nostalgic thoughts and wanting to make new memories here, okay? But like I said, someone was basically codependent. Um, I don't know if it's because of children, because of money, because of bills. I don't know. But the energy here is that there's soulmates here, okay? And that is evident with the twin flame energy on the table right alongside the, um, the past life card. And then we have a love call. Yes, yeah, somebody's going to express themselves. They may message you. They may pop up. They may um, let someone else know in your community um, that, you know, let them know I was looking for them or let them know you saw me. Okay. If you see them, let them know I'm thinking of them. That's the energy here. I don't feel that they can get in touch with you because this cassette is coming out um, in reverse. Now we know that's old school for, you know, leaving messages. Okay. They may have left messages. You may have blocked your phone number, changed your phone number. You may have even moved. Okay. So let's, um, let me see, do I want to get anything else out here? I think, I think that's about it. Okay. Um, until next time, be free.